Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and yes, you see it, right? Welcome to Maya. Well, that's been a while. Um, if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I've been making videos for a long, long time. I think this is year 13. And during that time, I made well over a thousand Maya videos. But at some point, you asked me to diversify, right? Uh, how about some ZBrush, Keyshot, 3D Code, uh, Plasticity, uh, MOI 3D, uh, Marvelous Designer, and so forth and so on. Over time, I added uh, something like 27 different applications to the portfolio, right? But now we're back in Maya because we're addressing a question that I received per email on a Maya problem. Now, before we dive into the fix for that problem, I want to do a little interactive viewing where I want to ask you to let me know in the comments what you want me to do. Do you want me to refer back to Maya and kind of make the channel a dedicated Maya channel? Or do you want me to continue to mix it up, right? I mean, I really enjoy making the videos. Um, after all, I've been doing it a long time, but it has to be useful for you, right? That's why I'm making the videos. Okay, so do me a favor, let me know in the comments. Okay, now let's go to today's problem. I received an email saying, uh, hey, my object looks weird. Um, I got the green and yellow arrows sticking out of it. Well, it took me a while to understand what he meant with arrows, but now I understand that we're talking about normal orientation indicators. So let me explain what they are, what the green ones are, what the yellow ones are, and how you can get rid of them, right? Okay, now let's start by creating an object. We're gonna go and create a simple sphere, all right? Now, this sphere consists of uh, vertices, edges, and faces, as you know, right? Edge here, vertex here, face here. Now, when you're modeling, it's important that you know what the orientation is. And it's important for a couple of reasons. For example, for texturing and lighting purposes. Because if it is out of whack, then you will see uh, artifacting and you will have a whole bunch of problems. And um, you can even have issues with rigging, right? So it's very, very important that it's all set up correctly. Now, how do I know whether they are correct or not? Well, let me turn them on so you can see them. So we're going to right click to the object mode, then we're going to make sure it's selected. We're going to go up to display, we're going to go to polygons, and let's go to face normals, right? And now we've got a whole bunch of green lines taken out. Now if you look closely to the faces, you see that each face has a line perpendicular to the orientation of the face, pointing outwards. Green uh, as in good, I guess, right? And uh, the orientation is what it should be. Now, um, what happens if I mess up one of the faces? Well, let's let's move one first, right? Let's go in here and go to face mode. And we're just gonna hit W and we're gonna pull that out. And let's rotate that. So far, everything is moving along nicely. And you can see the faces move accordingly. So that helps you to understand what the orientation of a face is, right? Okay, cool. Let's go back. So what if for whatever reason you have reversed a face? So we're gonna select this guy again. We're gonna go up to uh, mesh display and reverse. And now suddenly your green line is gone. However, if you right click and go to face mode and take a whole chunk of this and delete it and go look on the inside, suddenly you have this green line sticking inward. So you can clearly see that the orientation of your normal is off, and that is exactly what we want to avoid, right? So let's go back a few steps. Make sure that that's correct as well, and there you go. So that's the purpose of these. And before I show you anything else, you can also go in and change the length of these lines. So you can go up to uh, display, polygons and you can go to normal size and if you go in here and say two then they are very very long and if you say 0 0.1 very very short right so we're just going to do 0 0.4 fine all right so now we know all about the green lines and what they're for what the orientation should be and what the purpose is and all that right okay 
Now, next up, we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to go to object mode, make sure it's an object mode, and then we're going to go up to display, and we're going to go to polygons, and we're going to go to vertex normals. So we get a whole bunch more because every vertex now has a um, normal orientation sticking out, right? Now, with that selected and still in this mode, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, go to lock normals. So we're going to go to mesh display and we're going to go to lock normals. Now, you see that the ones that are sticking out of the vertices are now yellow, meaning that the, vert the normal orientation is locked down. So you can't change it. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, <clears throat> to be honest, I've never done that ever, but you can, right? And it is mainly for the purpose of doing something very specific with lighting, shading, and texturing, and that kind of thing, where you don't want that to change, right? Or you are working on something and you, don't, you want to make sure that you don't mess up a certain section of your model. But that's beside the point. It's very, very rare. I don't think you'll ever need to know how to do that. But more importantly, if you ever have your model looking like this, how do you get out of that situation, right? So first we're gonna do, make sure you're in object mode. We're gonna go back to uh, mesh display and we're gonna go to unlock normals, which will turn them back to green. Now, how do you get rid of them? Because every time I click my object, I got these little sticking out, right? You click on it, you go up to display, we're gonna to go to polygons, we're gonna to go to face normals, and you simply click on them and they will disappear. And then you go to polygons and vertex normals and you click on them and they will disappear as well. So really that's all there's to it, right? So yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to share in this video. Hopefully uh, the person sending me the email is satisfied with the solution. Again, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue with Maya or not, right? Well, that's for me. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.